Hey, hello people. Uh, welcome to my blog channel. First of all, I would like to say thank you for giving a good response to my first blog. Although I didn't expect that, that I will get this good response. Okay, so this video is specifically about KGSP scholarship program. And uh, if you are a school student, like if uh, this is your final year inside school and you are searching for a, a bachelor degree in Korea, or if you are a university student like a bachelor student or master student and searching for master's degree or PhD degree from Korea you can go through this video this might help you okay so let's check it out hello people hello again as I told you before this video is all about Korean government scholarship program and here in this video I'm going to explain that how you can apply for the scholarship like I did and uh, it is just my experience that I how I came here how I applied for the scholarship and what are the different processes you have to go through before getting the scholarship so first of all I think I should tell uh, I should tell the those people who doesn't know anything about the scholarship like what this scholarship is all about so this is basically a Korean government scholarship that provides scholarship to 695 different students from different countries all over the world and uh, uh, it it includes your living expenses your food expenses and your study expenses which means it is a very good scholarship so if you are a school student and you are searching for a, a good opportunity to study outside your country like if you like Korean culture and if you want to study inside Korea you can apply for the bachelor degree uh, and if you are a master student or a, a bachelor student and if you want to get the degree of PhD and bachelor degree from Korea you can apply for the scholarship so this scholarship uh, is for those who who love Korean culture I should say uh, uh, and who want to study within Korea for bachelors this scholarship lasts for two and a half years and for masters the scholarship lasts for uh, three years uh, for bachelors uh, the scholarship is like first six months you have to go through the Korean language course and you have to get topic three within six months uh, uh, if you want to continue with your studies and uh, for masters you get one year for the Korean language course and you have to get topic three same as bachelors uh, within one year and you can continue with your masters afterwards and for the PhDs uh, this scholarship is about four years where one year is for the language course and the three years are for your project work for your research okay if I talk about the benefits of the scholarship first is the airfare which means uh, Korean government will take care of the uh, um, will take care of your air tickets when you will come to Korea and when you will go back to your country after completion of your degree and the second thing is the settlement alliance which means they will uh, provide you with the two near about two hundred dollars as a settlement alliance to settling yourself up within Korea uh, before you get your actual monthly alliance and the uh, monthly allowance include nine hundred dollar per month uh, uh, which which can be one thousand uh, dollar if you get the topic level five after one year so uh, so you can you can work hard for the one year if you want one more hundred dollar and uh, the next thing is the research allowance which means uh, when you will pass your language exam and when you will come to your major university uh, for your degree uh, you will uh, <coughs> you will get the research allowance per semester which is near about 250 dollar uh, for the science student and uh, 210 dollar for the others and uh, then comes the tuition fees thesis printing fees and everything all of the all are the all expenses are covered under this scholarship uh, okay these are the different benefits of the scholarship and I'm telling you again guys this is a very good scholarship uh, if you want to do your uh, research if you want to do your degree outside India outside any country or if you love Korean culture and Korean lifestyle you can definitely go go for this scholarship okay there are two tracks to apply for this scholarship first one is the embassy track and the second one is the university track and both has advantages and disadvantages at the same time first of all I will uh, try to explain the embassy track and, uh, the, and then I will go for the university track so for the embassy track you have to apply through the embassies of your country like in my case I am an Indian so I have applied through MHRD website 
uh, MHRD every year post different notifications about the scholarships of uh, different countries like Hungarian uh, government scholarship, Chinese government scholarship, Korean government scholarship, New Zealand and so on. So you can go on their website and can check uh, the notification about the scholarship like what are the dates you can apply for the scholarship. Generally for the bachelor students these scholarships comes around October or November month and for the masters and PhD students these scholarships comes around uh, uh, January, February or March. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the dates because uh, it changes every year so it's better so you can go through the link I am attaching with this video that MHRD link so you can go there and can check the application dates okay for Indians if they are coming through embassy track there are only eight seats available uh, for them and if you want to apply through embassy track you have to follow the four different steps like the first step in which uh, you will submit your documents to the MHRD website and they will ask you four to five different questions uh, to screen you to judge you and to choose you over others that why they choose you over others so they will go through your documents and your answers and uh, then they will decide whether you are capable of the for the interview or not and then after that they will uh, they will upload a list of uh, 200 uh, people near about 200 people they are going to interview uh, for the next step so if you will be lucky or your grades would be that much uh, higher so that uh, and your answers would be uh, would be justifying enough uh, they would select you after passing the screening test uh, MHRD will ask you for the interview that uh, they will select 200 different uh, different students uh, out of all the application they have received for the screening test and uh, they will have an interview uh, and uh, uh, the in, after having an interview with the different students they have selected they will choose near about 12 to 13 people and they will send that list to the NIID that is National Institute of International Education in Korea and uh, they will uh, they will choose eight students out of those 12 or 13 students that MHRD have selected and uh, they will produce the final result although this is not the final step that you uh, you got the scholarship that if you pass the interview that doesn't mean that you got the scholarship there is uh, two things the first thing is when they pass the the list to the Korean government and uh, if you are lucky enough or I should say if your grades and interviews uh, was very good you will you will get the scholarship for sure and you will be the one out of those eight but if your interview has some negative points or the difference of 10 and 11 so this is this is hard and the second the second problem is even if NIID will select the students like they select the eight students out of those 13s after that you will be interviewed again with the different universities you have selected like as I told you before if you come through embassy track you will select three different universities so if NIID finalize the three uh, uh, the students uh, coming to Korea they they will be interviewed by the different universities and the universities will decide whether or not these students are capable to get the scholarship or not and if those universities will select you then you have the chance uh, that which university you want to go you can apply for and then you have the full chance you will get the scholarship but yeah this this process is pretty long and it takes like three months process and so the students who doesn't want to come through embassy track or who just want to avoid this three months process and uh, uh, feels is pretty hectic and it's hard to get the scholarship they can go through the university track uh, but at the same time as I told you before both of the steps both of the processes have their advantages and disadvantages like if you want to come through the university track you have to first select the university there are 65 different universities like good universities of Korea that are registered under this uh, this program so uh, you can go through the uh, to the to the scholarship prospectus and can find uh, the university that uh, that suits you like the university that is providing the course or the project or the research that you want to do so uh, first step is uh, choosing the university and the second step uh, you can go through the university guidelines and can find uh, how to apply for the uh, university track like first two steps are pretty much same for both the scholarships like uh, 
first step was the screening of documents here also you have to send the documents to the university and if university feels that uh, you are capable enough they will interview you there is there is one step but but at the same time if they select you that means is the uh, you are selected and you will get the scholarship for sure not like embassy track but at the same time if i talk about the disadvantages uh, of the university track the first disadvantage is that like for example you are applying for a good university there are five different universities registered like the best universities of korea like south national university uh, korea university uh, kais yonsei university so if you are applying in any of these universities there are uh, less chances to get the scholarship that that's what i feel like these universities are very uh, very famous universities and very good universities of korea and uh, if you want to apply in these universities uh, your grades should be sufficient enough uh, to convince them to ask you for the interview otherwise your scholarship or your scholarship process will stop here and you have to wait for the next one more year but if you think that uh, your grades are enough and you are confident about your motivation letter your statement of purpose then you can you can go for this like uh so if i talk about the advantages and disadvantages or i should say positive points and the negative points of both the tracks i would start with the embassy track embassy track is pretty long and you have to wait and wait and wait for like 3 months to before getting the scholarship and uh, if your cvs are good and if your grades are good and if you are confident enough about your grades and uh, uh, you are ready for the interview you can go through the embassy track i think embassy track is the best but at the same time if you think that you have to go through the first screening test and you will not be selected there or if you pass the screening test you will not be selected in the interview test or even if you pass the interview test uh you think your your luck is not good and you will be uh you will not be selected by the NIID and or if you think uh universities interview you will you will not able to pass then you can go to the university track and for the university track both of the tracks have the advantages and disadvantages and for the university track you have to select the university that uh, that suits you the first thing like you have to go through the uh, uh, different websites of different universities the universities that are registered inside uh, this program you can go through them you can see uh, whatever the work they are doing and whether it suits you or not and if you find the university then contact them and go through the university guidelines of NIID and then apply for the scholarship and then wait for it uh if i talk about the negative points of the university track there are uh there are some points that you need to you need to consider like if you are applying for very good university inside korea like uh, SNU or Yonsei any 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 of them if you are applying for that university first uh you have to be confident for your grades like there are 145 different countries people who are applying for this university you have to you have to consider that first so uh if you are confident enough the first like the the thing you need for this is just your confidence like whether it is embassy track or university track if you are confident for your grades and confident for the interview you can go through any of them and you will get the scholarship for sure but if you have some doubts then figure it out like which uh process would be the best for you and go for it uh not just uh, go and apply so the advantage of university track is that uh that is it is just an one step process like if you will be selected is just one process you don't have to be wait for any other result by an id or by the university or by anything it's just one step process if university selects you that means you are selected and you are getting the scholarship but at the same time it can be counted as a negative point like uh, you will you will not get the chance uh, to prove yourself again and again as in case of embassy track like in embassy track you will get like four to five times a uh, four to five different chances to prove yourself to move further and further and to get the scholarship so decide what uh, which which process would be the best for you and then go for it then apply for it uh, so that's all that's all about the scholarship i know many of you guys will ask me that uh, 
there were so many points i could explain but i couldn't and why i couldn't explain so the reason was that uh, actually if i will explain every single point of the scholarship it will take about uh, 20 to 30 minute video i don't want to make that as it is a blog video so if you guys have any personal question like the regarding the scholarship regarding the life inside korea regarding the language training uh, korean language training regarding the topic uh the topic test the korean language test you can ask me in the comment box if you have any question regarding kgsp please leave it into the comment box and i will try to make one more video on kgsp and it depends on the number of questions i will get uh if i will get uh more questions i will definitely make a video and if i will get less questions i will try to answer into the comment box uh and that's all okay so this is the end of the blog i'm ending it here uh thank you guys for watching the video and uh, <clears throat> if you have any anything to ask or to tell please leave it in the comment box uh, if you like the video please like the video and if you don't like the video please let me know the reasons you don't like please leave it into the comment box so that next time i can improve and share the video and subscribe my youtube channel to get more videos from my channel thank you signing off